In that interview that Gary Cohn gave the FT, it was published on Friday. At what point, uh, Gary Cohn here says, quote, citizens standing up for equality and freedom can never be equated with white supremacists, neo-Nazis, uh, and the KKK. Strong words there from uh, Gary Cohn. What have we heard, what have we learned about how that, that interview that he gave to the FT, is playing within the, uh, the inner sanctum of the White House? Well, uh, you know, I guess silence is the uh, is the real telling thing. I mean, Donald Trump has never hesitated to attack people who criticize him, but he has been virtually silent on Gary Cohn and that, those comments, which suggests to me that he s either respects or is ignoring those comments and needs Gary Cohn to push his agenda, so he's decided he's going to just keep him there and not say a word. When you look at national security in particular, here, let me go back to Secretary of State Rex Tillerson. There was some complaining early on in this administration that he was putting forward nominees for positions that the White House was then shutting down. Uh, there were conversations about a so-called loyalty pledge or uh, the White House rejecting nominees who may have said something bad about the, the president when he was a candidate uh, for the office. Has that eased somewhat? How empty is Foggy Bottom still here uh, in August of 2017? It's, it's pretty empty. Uh, there are a lot of overseas leaders who privately tell us that they don't really know who to talk to in the State Department on some very important issues. So uh, it is true that a number of his nominees were sort of sidelined by the White House. And he, uh, at the same time, Tillerson is not without critics uh, himself about how he's conducting business over there. So it's not clear just who's in ascendancy, but there is just one president. and. Uh, there's speculation that Tillerson's uh, not going to be there much longer. What can we learn from the way that Secretary of Defense James Mattis has interacted with or talked about this administration uh, over these last few days? We got a directive from the president, an official memo here instructing James Mattis, again, the Secretary of Defense, to uh, begin to work on reversing uh, in order that allowed transgender individuals to serve uh, in the military. Uh, do we have a sense of how he's going to react to that? I gather from reading that, that legalese that he has some flexibility there in terms of how that's uh, implemented. Uh, what's your sense of how that's going to play out, Marty? Well, he certainly has some wiggle room, and he has been outspoken after Donald Trump famously tweeted his transgender ban, uh, uh, upholding the values of the military, which has been at the forefront of inclusiveness uh, for decades. So I would suspect that it will be a soft... Uh, rule change and something that Mattis can live with morally and still support the president's view.